Hi, this is Greg Thomas. Welcome to our channel. Today, in the second video on this topic, I want to again discuss with you the dynamic force of personal leadership. Last time we discussed how personal leadership is performing a deep dive analysis within our own lives, beginning with a mission statement. Just like a business needs purpose, guidance, and future direction through internal examination, so do our lives. If you missed part one entitled, Just What is Personal Leadership?, I will put a link below in the discussion area. So let's go to the animation board and begin. Today I want to discuss some of the qualities or attributes of a person who embraces the personal leadership philosophy. As Leonardo da Vinci once wrote, he who cannot establish dominion over himself will have no dominion over others. Individuals who embrace the personal leadership philosophy are not perfect, nor do they pretend to be. They are human like everyone else. However, they do have a greater tendency to focus on these qualities. Number one is decisiveness. The process of creating your own life mission gives you a deeper sense of purpose. You know that you can at any time decide to alter the course of your life. No one can ever take that away from you. Every day the choice is yours. You have the ability to steer the course you choose in the direction of where you desire to be today, tomorrow, or in a future time. With a strong internal locus of control, you believe that much of your success or failure is the result of the effort, hard work, and learning you invest in your life. This tends to make you more proactive in the decision-making process. Number two is character-driven. Character is a person's mental and moral dispositions manifested by his or her interaction with their environment and with other people. Individuals drawn to the personal leadership philosophy understand that the power of choice also contains the principles of cause and effect. This means that qualities like integrity, honesty, fairness, generosity, humility, and kindness bring positive long-term results, while qualities like immorality, lying, manipulation, Selfishness, narcissism, and rudeness bring negative, short-term, and long-term results. Dr. Martin Luther King said he dreamed that his four children would, quote, one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character, end of quote. One can make a case for the improvement in civil rights since these words were spoken in 1963. But unfortunately, a different case can be made for the decline in mental and moral character since that time. A simple definition of character is the way we act when we don't think anyone is watching or could ever know. Number three is emotional intelligence, and it's often referred to as EI. It's the ability of one to evaluate, control, and perceive emotions. There is some debate on whether emotional intelligence can be learned and strengthened or if it's an inborn characteristic. The ability to control and express our own emotions is critical, but equally important is our ability to interpret understand, and maturely respond to the emotions of others. Psychologists refer to this ability as emotional intelligence, and some researchers even suggest that it can be more important than IQ in your overall success in life. As the Harvard Medical School website states, quote, emotional intelligence can have a surprisingly powerful effect in our lives, from our ability to foster long-term relationships with friends and romantic partners, to whether we're able to succeed in school and pursue meaningful work that gives us a sense of purpose. Those who accept a personal leadership philosophy become keenly aware of their EI and seek to learn more about it while strengthening the emotional intelligence within themselves.
Number four is self-discipline. This is the ability to say no to ourselves and others when necessary. Inherent in a personal leadership philosophy is the knowledge that making an investment in yourself or your dreams takes time and patience. Like a financial investment, personal development grows when it's applied consistently over a longer period of time. Seeking a long-term benefit is preferred over a short-term gain because the results and fulfillment are longer lasting and more satisfying. There is no shortcut to lasting success and self-actualization. And number five is seeking balance. When you embrace the personal leadership philosophy, you appreciate the need to live a life of balance. From a human perspective, balance is having the right amount of equality, not too much or too little, which leads to stability, harmony, and evenness. We are all human beings prone to dysfunction. When we become obsessive, addictive, or compulsive about anything, these can derail our progress and our goals. If you have a serious emotional or mental struggle, please seek professional medical advice because you're worth it and help is available. Additionally, an unbalanced lifestyle in either our personal relationships, physical health, financial well-being, social behavior, or spirituality can be detrimental to our happiness and achievements. To use the metaphor of an automotive tire, when a tire is unbalanced, you'll experience uneven wear, potential steering issues, increased road noise, and greater fuel consumption. The same is true of us. A lack of balance over the long haul can harm our health, sap our energy, and distract us on the road of life. So those are the five attributes or qualities of an individual who embraces the personal leadership philosophy. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to express them in the comments section below. If the information you heard today was helpful, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and please give us a like. If you ring the bell, you'll be notified of new videos I post. We do appreciate your support. This is Greg Thomas on behalf of Leadership Excellence Limited reminding you that it was Henry David Thoreau who wrote, What lies behind us and what lies ahead of us are tiny matters compared to what lives within us. See you next time.